Close my mess, it's fine. Alright, chat. Chat, I'll give us a bunch of like, eat food and then it will be chilling. It smells cool. No, sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm, I'm like that. Concerned. I'm like that. No, 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 no. Thank you, man. I push a lot. Thank, yeah. You didn't have to, man. Thank you, man. I push a lot. So, yeah, I, 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 guys, you know how I am. I, I, it's, I do this all the time. Look at my boyfriend, you fucking moron. What is wrong with you, man? What is this? I'm eating McDonald's. <laughs> Look at her. Refresh for XCP if you don't see or have it. Tuesday night. Huh. That's scary enough, huh? Wildfires range over West Coast California. CD Project Red announces DLC. And over in the furthest reaches of cyberspace, a musical artist named Super Composite makes a discovery. She experiments with AI-driven art, made possible through inputting text prompts in a machine learning systems like Stable Diffusion, Dolly, and Midjourney. And it's like good. anything, at first, everything seems to be all right. Animals, landscapes, trees, the human form, the potential of AI-driven art is endless. And so she decides to push the boundaries of what this system can do, and inputs the following. The last name of Marlon Brando, a prompt that will surely test the absolute limits of the capability of artificial intelligence. Curiously, she enters a modifier, negative one, also known as a negative prompt weight, which informs the AI that they're seeking a picture as conceptually far away from the prompt as possible. Mm. To be frank, it's an interesting thought experiment because it makes you wonder how exactly AI views the world and what it considers the opposite of everyday things to be. I mean, what do we consider the opposite of everyday things to be? If I asked you what the opposite of birds are, what would you say? Super Composite sends off her prompt and lies in wait. Okay. The minutes tick by without much concern until finally. Innocuous, yet interesting that the opposite of Marlon Brando is perceived to be an abstract skyline. Written on it appears to be two words, digita and pentix, and in the background appears to be text on a white page. Curious, she ponders if the inverse of this photo would result in a picture of Marlon Brando, and so she inputs another prompt, 
and sends it off into the vast unknown. No problem. Makes sense. Jesus Christ, hello, video? of a highly uncanny, older woman with severe rosacea on her cheeks. She bears prominent cheekbones, has dark colored hair, and can be seen within a living room in what appears to be a hospital, in a bathtub, and against a green wall with just one discernible ward above. You know what, chap? You know, I think, I think this was a half bathroom, half courtroom. I don't know why though. And against a green wall with just one discernible ward above her. Did you feel L -L it or not? A B. Or lobe. Yeah, you too. Okay, good. Over the next few days, super experiments with their creation. Curious about hey! why and how lobe exists. She eventually employs a method named AI image crossbreeding to combine one of Lobe's photos with a completely separate one that her friend created. However, instead of this combination resulting in Lobe's demise, or innocuous photos involving this tunnel, what comes to fruition is something a bit more grotesque. Okay. Through some kind of emergent statistical accident, something about this woman is adjacent to extremely gory and macabre imagery and the distribution of the AI's world knowledge. Since Loeb was found using negative prompt weights, her gestalt is made from a collection of traits that are equally far away from something, but her combined traits are still a cohesive concept for the AI and almost all descendant images contain a recognizable lobe. In nearly every image, lobe is distinct and embodies the physical manifestation of the repulsive and uncanny. This AI is somehow creating images that perfectly encapsulates what terrifies us, wrapped up in a myriad of situations like family portraits, loitering within an office building, looming over children like a reincarnation of Jesus Christ, and even standing by after well, what these are to be pretty scary though. A murder. I don't like these at by all. Her own hand. But it doesn't stop there, as the correlation between Loeb and the idea of malformed, mutilated imagery was merely beginning to take root. The Angel Hallway plus Loeb also produced art with such copious gore that probably very few people want to see them, but here are two. I don't feel comfortable posting the most disturbing ones. They're borderline images of dismembered, screaming children. There's something moving to me about these grotesque scenes and the desperation, panic, and sadness that they convey. Again, these okay, are produced these are really with bad, images like... as inputs and no text. They're the result of crossbreeding of images of Loeb with pictures of other things. The images that result from crossing Loam with other images can in turn be crossbred with other images. The AI can latch onto the idea of Loam so well that she can persist through generations of this type of crossbreeding, even without using the original image. Oh, makes sense. From here, their journey down the Loam rabbit hole continues. What? 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 Because we're saying it, 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 it's getting there, but even without getting the. The, the reference point of the other dog shit. Makes sense. From here, their journey down the low rabbit hole continues. As referenced, her persistence in existing within each resulting photo is striking, and even when they try to get rid of her, to distort her out of existence, she remains in immensely uncomfortable scenarios. With a child. Clinging to the Jesus, the Jesus Christ! Locked in time as a clay statue. Fuck all that. Deformed by unknowable technology. Lurking 
watching from the dark. Trapped within a Stephen Gamble canvas, painstakingly out of place. Abandoned as a lifeless child. Trapped in the deep blue and frozen in eternal pain. Okay. I was ripping Lobo apart and putting her back together. She's an emergent island in the latent space that we don't know how to locate with text queries. But for the AI, Lobo was an equally strong point of convergence as a verbal concept. Mm. The big lesson for me here with Lobe is that image prompting can essentially be used as your custom parameter to question the AI's form of thought. You can produce original styles and characters that you literally discover. Form of thought? Negative prompting can help you find emergent accidents, much like Lobe, too. This is largely where her thread ends. She claims that she'll update it with further pictures of Lobe as they're created, and that's a promise that's held true. To this day, they're still adding to it, and this thread, in its entirety, serves as an interesting dive down a surreal, uncanny, and dreamlike rabbit hole regarding this undisclosed AI art generator and its bizarre that was nice. that was cool though. I like this that. one specific face. As we can recall, the original prompt referenced the inverse of Marlon Brando, and the resulting image was nothing like any human would logically expect it to be. It was an abstract skyline. So how did this come from this? Classic. Wait. Why would I want? Why would I want Grandma's pictures? This is, this is, Jesse's deleted photos true. This will happen 25 years ago. I'm just gonna take all this shit then. Hmm, what was that? Bro? So unsettling. Uncanny Valley. What is it about these images that causes this inexplicable dread? Uncanny, is it not? The program I was utilizing to make this slideshow and throughout this entire video was Stable Diffusion. And in the process, I learned quite a few things about it. But, but you guys watch a video about this. Because they look real, but they're not real enough because they're modified, right? They, they, they look, something looks off. So you look. Since we have reference points, right, as as people, we look for something, but it's a little bit off and we don't know why, right? And now it becomes and then it becomes unsettling. When you make your that's input too specific, you may happen upon exactly what you're looking for. The AI is, in a way, constrained by what you feed it. Visual, However, watch it. if you take away the specifics in your prompt and really allow it to spread its wings and create something for you, well, that's when things get interesting. Anomalies much like Lobe await, hidden away within the confines of something called latent space, or the medium in which AI recreates the features it's been fed. You may have seen other examples of this idea before, 
notably with a Twitter thread from June in which this person discovers what appears to be a demon after inputting a completely made up word. Krungus, they called it. <laughs> Which is pretty creepy, and is even something you can discover it's like, it's like yourself. Chungus. It's like Chungus. But it isn't just disturbing, off-putting creatures and faces that this system excels at. And the span of AI's weirdness isn't always as straightforward as entering a text prompt that we know will give us something scary. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite examples of artificial strangeness dates back years. So, let's pause. Oh, wait, I was ordering it, so... And let's head back. Jesus Christ, you bitch ass son. In 2019, an anonymous programmer going by none other than the girl who talks to AI set out to create a simulation of the human brain by utilizing a system known as a Generative Adversarial Network, or GAN for short. GANs essentially become trained through machine learning to take in millions of existing stimuli in order to recreate an idea. In this case, the system was tasked with creating a face. Well, and after prowling through- I have a question, Jack. Could we use every person's, every human possible pictures and make an average of what human look like and they just make an average and boom post that shit boom let me see that see millions that. of existing photos what is human it spin out this one the program it would be however, dream <laughs> had a curious idea since the ai's entire worldview is constrained by the sum of its inputs what would happen if they were to slowly forget the very thing it was trained for and so with the AI's neurons visualized to the right, she shuts them off one by one until this face distorts into something completely unrecognizable. Okay. The parallels between synthetic deconstruction and afflictions of the human mind are clear. And this project serves as a curious looking glass into the realm of Jesus. neuroscience and how we as individuals perceive life around us. The way that face slowly distorts into a faded memory, leaving the remaining neurons scrambling yo, to fill yo. the void. Leave Can I be honest with you? I guess I like some emotes too much. I think we should revert them from away from the uh, the uh, Halloween. I think aware looks like shit. I think we bring back the normal one. ...us with an end result that is haunting. And to this day, this remains as one of the most fascinating AI curiosities that I have ever seen. Mm, I'm, I, I, I don't, I'm not finding this concept that much compared to the other this concept in this video. is an eerie case study, someone that has successfully cemented herself in the online sphere. And while the reason behind her conception and why this AI somehow latched on to her oddly specific facial features and tied them to macabre, disturbing imagery is currently unclear. These ones are scary though. What is certain is that her persistence has left us with an interesting revelation. We know that AI knows how to create subjectively beautiful synthetic art through mere text prompts, generating some of the most striking examples of the sheer potential of modern technology. Mm -hmm. With that said, who's to say that it can't excel at the opposite? Uh -huh. Relatively, the adoption and potential of synthetic art is merely beginning. And with the advent of Loeb freaking so many of us out, what else is hidden away within the vast abyss of AI? And how will this impact us? When we find them. Yeah, I don't think I care that much either. Yeah, I agree. But I agree, I don't really care much. A good video though, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this video. Okay. It won't. 
Um, does this person exist? I don't know what that is. Bro, why did I click that? That was weird. Bro, bro. Chat, what is that? Does this person exist? I don't know what that is. Wait. I'm confused. It's all that site. It's all as fuck. You just refresh. This is uh AI. Oh, they're oh, they're all they're all fake. AI. Well, you can kind of tell though. Hmm. Well, you can, you can kind of tell a little bit, at least. She looks like AOC. She looks like AOC. It's impressive, though. Why? Uh, it has, like, some so, so, some blur sometimes and shit like that, and some distortions, and some, like, uh... Well, you can just kind of tell, no? Like, the quality of the image isn't consistent all the way through. Am I crazy, man? Why everybody thinks just, why everybody talks to me like I'm crazy? 